evangelism. We're supposed to do it, right? That whole Matthew 28 thing, go out and share the everlasting love of Jesus Christ and bring disciples, and it's so hard. I have a guy in my studio by the name of Sky Allison, and he's figured out a way to do it, and it's for you. It's coming up next. Welcome to The View from a Pew, a conversation among Christians who are out to grow their faith by asking the simple questions, the tough questions, and the stuff you really wish your pastor would talk about. Come on now, let's reason together. It's your voice we want to hear. The phone lines are open, so join the conversation. Call 244-0077. That's 244-0077. Now here's your host, J. Michael McCoy. Right, four minutes after the hour on this, the uh, 14th day of October in the Lord's year 2013. Uh, I'm sorry, 2015. Uh, I'm J. Michael McCoy, and this is uh, uh, number three. And uh, then tomorrow will be number two. And Friday will be number one. The last view from the pew on the truth 99.3. As of next Monday from three to five, we will be uh, Max World Live. Uh, still biblical based, still Christ centered, uh, still uh, talking to preachers, teachers, pastors, conservatives. If I can get a liberal over once in a while, it'll be a nice basting. Um, nothing in the show content is going to change other than we're going to be two hours a day. And the first show is going to be very, very, very local. Nobody's local in this town anymore. It, well, except WHO. Yeah, thank you. HO's awesome. I mean, they're, they're local all day long except for Rush Limbaugh. But nobody else is local anymore. So we're going we're gonna to be local. Uh, we're going to talk about how Aunt May's bird died, the, gas, uh, the pop machine at the gas station broke down. We're going to talk about why the city council is doing this and why the Polk, uh, Polk uh, County Board of Supervisors is doing that. We're going to talk about your churches. We're going to talk, talk about what you care about, what you're talking about. Um, this is not your grandfather's talk show. It... Uh, it might get a little squeaky from time to time, and I just ask you to bear with me. Um, I'm not a preacher or a teacher. I'm a facilitator. I, I create conversations uh, through questions because through questions, conversations are had and passions are brought forth. And I like passionate people. And so starting Monday the 9th, no, is that the 9th? No. Starting Monday 19th? the 19th, thank you, uh, Bob and I and Ryan and Frank and whoever else is around, uh, Max World Live, uh, starting on this coming Monday the nineteenth. All right, so um, you know I'm I'm a I'm a newer newer Christian. I spent uh, 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 I'm fifty six years old and I have been a Christian just past fifty. And I would tell you that um, not knowing it. Uh, I was uh, a heathen through and through uh, for 50 years. Um, I, I believed in God, and I would openly say, I don't get this Jesus thing. I would sit down with pastors on my radio show, in restaurants. I didn't raise my hand in the middle of sermons, but I'd go up after their sermon and say, I don't get this Jesus thing. And no matter who would try to explain it to me, it went in one ear and out the other. I don't know if I wasn't ready to hear it. I don't know if it wasn't my time. Those mysteries are far beyond me. Far beyond me. And then one day, in the middle of the night, Jesus mugged me. And the reason I call it mugged is because when you get mugged, you lose everything that's important to you. And when Jesus mugged me, he took my, he took my self-confidence because it was, it was absolutely uh, an, uh, an idol who I was and who I thought I was. He, he took all my, uh, most of my character defects, lying, cheating, stealing, not being a very good husband, not being a very good father, not being a very good friend. Uh, he took my greed, because money was it, baby. What I drive, where I live, I got to have the best. And I had the best. Uh, my, my wife was a bobble rather than the church that I'm supposed to love like Christ. And only because of the amazing woman that she is, has she still, is she still here? Uh, I was not a good husband. And when Jesus mugged me, he took all those things because he wanted to renew me and he wanted to make me new in him. 
and he, he had prepared me all of my life to sit right here in this chair talking to you. And I, 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 I wish... I wish I could break it down and make it more complicated than that. I wish I could tell you that angels sang and lights opened up and loud thunder and burning bushes and that he told me to take my son to the altar and sacrifice him. I I, I wish I could give you all that biblical uh, hoopla, pep rally stuff. But that's not how it happened to me. And when it happened to me, I had no choice. And I, I, I can't explain that. I just didn't have a choice. When the hound of heaven come up to me and took a bite out of my backside, uh, there was no resistance. I had no free will at all. God had me. Jesus had me. Well, being the guy that I am, I want to tell other people about this. And in the Christian world, we call that evangelism. I don't like that word because it makes people think of TV preachers. But the bottom line is, it's Matthew 28. Go out into the world, make disciples of all men. Tell them about this incredible gift that I didn't deserve, that I did nothing to earn, and that I can't do anything to have it taken away. God loves me that much. Well, about a year ago, I ran into these guys at iOutreachInc.org. I, the letter I, OutreachInc, I-N-C, dot org. And these guys got evangelism figured out. And I want to introduce you to the founder, Sky Allison. And Sky, you were a, well, once a preacher, always a preacher. But at one point, you had been called to different churches and you served as a pastor in churches. Yeah, I was a pastor for 25 years. What, what, what did, were you denominational? Mm -hmm. What were you? I was in the Church of the Nazarene. All right. And are you still in the Church of the Nazarene? I am. I don't know anything about that church. Can you tell me just enough? What, what makes. What's different than a Lutheran? Well, there's a lot of similarities in the things that we believe, but, uh, but a couple of differences is that uh, the Church of the Nazarene is born out of a uh, revival in the late 1800s, uh, out of which Methodism was founded uh, here in the United States. So it's a holiness, um, holiness denomination. Okay, and, and Trinity, I mean, you're, you're Christian? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just ignorant. And I'd, I'd rather just right. ask the question than just assume. Sure. And B B Bob's really my sniff tester here. He's my, he's my litmus test. Sure. And is he okay? He's all right. Is he all right? Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys founded, uh, well, you tell me about eye outreach because this is your baby, right? This is you and is. some other guys yeah. bore this. <clears throat> yeah. When I, when I resigned, my last pastor, I, uh, I had a guy um, in my church that uh, I asked him, I said, here's how I came to know the Lord. And I said, is there a way to communicate that? And he's uh, on the internet. And he said, yeah, there is. And so uh, we began I Outreach Incorporated at that time. Um, I tell you, it's interesting story, I guess, to me anyway. But, um, but uh, God's Seems like ever since the Lord saved me, uh, like you were talking earlier, God just kind of put a thumb in my back to share this greatest good news. And uh, uh, my goodness, you know, it's, I, I didn't have coaching back then to, to know what to do and how to do it and all that sort of thing. So, you know, uh, I just did it anyway. But, but uh, now these years later, we've come up with a system that we feel will be helpful to people uh, especially those folks who are timid, but, uh, but to all people, a seed sowing system that uh, can help to nurture uh, the, uh, the faith and the abilities of people to share their faith. Yeah, and by the way, uh, those of you listening at home, this was designed for you. Uh, I signed up for this program, um, uh, what, six months ago or something like that, because I wanted to test it. Four months ago, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to test it before I brought it to you. Um, and now the radio station is going to be on board with it. In fact, uh, Sky just delivered all these wonderful cards, these business sites cards to us. And uh, on one side, they asked some really important questions. Uh, one, who cares? Two, why am I here? Three, who loves me? And four, which I asked, gosh, I can't begin to tell you how many times I ask God this question. 
And in, in the 16 years previous to him saving me, he was usually with a drink in one hand and a, 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 a hard heart. God, what's my purpose? Why am I here? I don't understand. I, I don't understand why you created me. I don't understand why you put me in the birth situation that you did. I, 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 uh, I was an orphan, and later I found my biological mother, and uh, I have a great relationship with her. I have a great relationship with the people that uh, uh, raised me up. In fact, my dad at 86 years old had a hip replaced yesterday. Uh, and I love these people. But you got to remember, I was a duck out of water. I didn't feel, why am I here? I wasn't wanted when I was born. And, and I, I, I know now that that wasn't true. But those formation years mm-hmm. um, and, and when yeah, I'd asked that of my parents, uh, my mom and dad were not equipped to handle those type of questions. That's just not where we came from. So what is my purpose? Why am I here? Why was I born? And who really cares? Well, what you're able to do is you're able to hand these cards out to people. See, these, these cards will be your cards. We'll tell you later how to get some. But these cards are your cards, and we put a code on them. Like the code that we just got from the radio station is Truth 99.3. If I gave you a code for my card, it says Mac McCoy. And people take these cards and they go to this website, answer the number two mystery.com. Answer to mystery.com. And they see a video and I'm going to show you. Well, if you're if you're just listening on radio, you'll be able to hear it just fine. The audio absolutely translates. There's no visuals that won't follow up on the radio. But you'll see this five minute video or so. And it is masterfully, masterfully created. Um, and by the way, if you've just tuned into this radio station for the first time, I'm not bought. This is genuine what I tell you. I met these guys six months ago. They got me my own set of cards. I tested this program for the last three months or so. I came to them and said, I want you to be part of this radio station. And they're not advertisers. They're not tent makers. They don't write anybody a check around here. I'm, 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 I'm grateful to have them as a part of the team. So when I tell you these things, you may not know this about me. You may, you may think I'm a pitch man. Never. I can't be bought. I don't care that much. Never have cared that much about speaking for somebody else's business. I speak for my own. And, and now I speak for Jesus. Uh, I hope I do. I try to. I honor God, follow Jesus, and serve others. So when I come back from a break, uh, we got a couple minutes before the break. When we come back, Sky, we're going to see the video that people see when they go to AnswerToMystery.com. Now, if you go to iOutreachInc.org, I know I'm giving you a couple of emails or addresses here. Uh, Ryan will put them both on the screen. I, and that's just the letter I, OutreachInc.org, uh, you can find out how you can get these cards delivered to your home via mail and start tracking because what happens is when somebody puts that code in on the website you get an email that says hey somebody just checked out the website under your code name which is for us it'd be truth 99.3 or no i'm sorry truth 99.3 for you it would be brad stamborough or it would be jill king or it would be uh, Bob Montserrat, or it would be Frank the Verse Tom. You'd have your own code. So you could actually see how your trek, your journey, your mission of evangelism was impacting other people. Did I, did I, did I kind of get that right, Sky? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good. I, I call it a seed sowing system. So, yeah, while there's a method, a uh, way that you can uh, get responses and so forth using that card, uh, the important thing that we're following uh, and doing what Jesus told us to do. Yeah, go out and spread the gospel Yeah, and make apostles or disciples of all men. All right, we're going to take a break. Um, 515-244-0077, that's the studio line. You can call in here and ask questions of Sky or me or uh, Bob Montserrat and uh, talk about this. I hope you're uh, jumping on the Internet and checking out the websites I've given you. Uh, Later, we'll talk to you about uh, what you can do to get your own cards and uh, how you can participate uh, in this wonderful evangelical ministry that these men have started. And there's actually three guys, two Jeffs and a Scott, that put this thing together, right? Okay, Uh, we're coming back live here on The Truth, 99.3.
from the Remax Real Estate Concept Studios. This is Webcast One Live. Credit cards are like grandkids. They love you. Sometimes get out of control, and it's fun to get a new one. Who can stop them from piling on? Hi, I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of Des Moines. At the end of the day, you can give these grandkids back, but you're stuck paying off bad credit card debt. We can help you put the fun back into using credit cards responsibly. Right, kids? Yeah! If you need help getting credit cards off your back, call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Hi, I'm Jay Michael McCoy, and about 20 years ago, I went to a used car salesman by the name of John Hewitt. He had a little shop over there on North 2nd Avenue called John's Auto Sales, and I bought a car. I found that experience to be one that I had never had before from a used car salesman. He was honest, he was dependable, he had integrity, and he did what he said he was going to do. Well, over the years, between my kids and grandkids, I purchased seven vehicles from John's Auto Sales. And last month, I asked him to be a sponsor. I can tell you about their huge selection. I can tell you about their years of experience. I can tell you about their honest integrity. But all I really need to tell you is that I bought seven cars, and you can trust them. John's Auto Sales, 5435 2nd Avenue, Des Moines. You need a good ride when you hit the trail. Trust the man with the cars, and he goes by the name of Big John. Big John. From the Remax Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. If you sit in the back view or the front view, it's your voice we want to hear. The phone lines are open, so call 244-0077. Now, here's J. Michael McCoy. 21 minutes after the hour on this uh, 14th day of October in the Lord's year uh, 2015. I'm J. Michael McCoy. Today we're kind of talking about uh, this incredible program, uh, that uh, this, this evangelistic uh, tool uh, that God brought to my uh, attention a uh, few years I don't know, six, eight, nine, ten months ago, something oh, like six that. Six months. And um, you can learn about it at iOutreach.org. No, iOutreachInc.org. iOutreachInc.org. And uh, that's how you can learn if you want to be a part of this ministry. And um, the cost of being a part of this, I'll just say this up front. The cost of being a uh, part of this is just the cost of doing the cards. So whatever, you know, 100 business cards cost, that, that's what it costs you. There's no cost to track the, 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 the people that go online and say that I, I came here for your card. There's no, there's no entry fee. This is a true, that's what I love about these guys. This is a true ministry. Just cover my cost. Not Sky's gas to get over here to talk about it today. Not a, a lunch. Uh, uh, that he had to expense. This is just the cards, because you have to hand out the cards. It's just incredible. Let's go to the phone, and i uh, got somebody standing by. Hi, you're live uh, in Max World. Who's this? Well, this is Fred. No, Frank. Frank. Hi, Frank. <laughs> I didn't fake Ryan out. <laughs> so anyway, i got an answer to the question, if you'd like. But first, I want to ask you, Mac, when you talk about this mugging, 
How long did Christ woo you before he delivered the knockout punch? Um, I would tell you from day one. I mean, I... See, what Christ did for me is it taught me how to grow up and put my big boy pants on. It taught me how to be responsible for my actions. It taught me how to love other people greater than I loved myself. It taught me how to surrender to my higher power, which I call God. And he's manifested himself in three different ways, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Father, the Holy Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I never knew how to be a big boy because I wasn't confident enough with myself to let anybody else in. You know, I had the self-confidence, uh, the size of a pea and the ego, the size of Manhattan. Does that help you, Frank? Well, I would suggest to you that when you get to heaven, you will see, he will demonstrate for you. He will open the books or open the, the logs and you will see how long you were wooed. You, I don't think anybody's just grabbed instantaneously I think you're wooed. It's a long, slow wooing process, and then he comes in there with an offer like the Godfather that you can't refuse. But I would suggest that it came after long years and years and years of wooing. But the answer, I think, to your question is, and your guest question, why am I here? What's my purpose? What's my, what's my purpose in life? It comes down to one simple sentence. For God so loved the world. That's the only answer there is. Why am I here? For God so loved the world. What's my purpose? For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes it should not perish but have everlasting life. That's every human being on this earth's purpose. To, to accept that gift and tell everybody we know the good news, the great deal we have, share that deal with them. We received it free, and we tell others about it freely. All right, Frank, I appreciate your phone call. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, Ryan, do you have the audio ready? All right, so, Sky, tell me what the audio is we're about to hear. This is the video that they find when they go to uh, answer to mystery.com. Yeah, that is a uh, brief uh, five-minute um, five gospel presentation. You know, when I came to know the Lord, it was, uh, it, it impacted me like I did with you in a similar way, but it impacted me uh, profoundly uh, in, in every way, socially, emotionally, yeah. uh, psychologically. Uh, and so... Uh, there was nothing that remained the same. So, yeah. So uh, most of the time when you share, share the gospel with people, you, you see... You know, here's how to receive Christ and that sort of thing. It's a one, two, three, very cognitive kind of thing. Well, on the stadium that day when when uh, that evangelist was speaking, I mean, it was like God speaking to me. It impacted me profoundly uh, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. And I stepped out on that field and accepted Christ that day, asked him to come into my life, forgive me of my sins. Uh, it was like a huge burden was lifted right off my shoulders. It was incredible. And... Um, I knew when I went back to high school that other kids needed to, to know that that too, um, you know. But um, I, I, I didn't know how to to, to, to share that. And um, one day, uh, you know, I'm in high school. Here's a kid that uh, uh, is in high school with us. He's flunked a couple of times. He's older than everybody else. Uh, high school was like a career for him. He's likable, popular guy, perceived as cool and one day while the, the teacher was out of the room, Mora started talking and used profanity. Well, I'm in the class. I'm a brand new Christian, never been coached on how to share Christ, but here I am. I know kids at the school are on the road to hell. They need Jesus, but I'm the most inferior and most insignificant kid in the school. So what do you do? I tense up several more words. It's bothering me more. Then Morris comes out with GD. And I felt God's thumb in my back and boldly spoke up, asked him not to say that around me anymore, that uh, I had come to know the Lord. And, and, and I don't know if I told you, profanity was the first thing God began to change in my life. And so to my surprise, Morris stopped dead in his tracks and he actually respected my wishes, didn't use profanity around me anymore from that day forward. Well, long story just to tell you, you know, I wanted something when I left pastoral ministry that would impact other people's lives. So 
Um, that's what this is. That's what this is. All right. Now, do me a favor, Ryan. Leave my mic on in case there are some visuals that need me to explain it to them. But uh, when you hand somebody a card and they're going to go to this website, uh, answer to the number two, answer to mystery dot com. You're going to put in your code right now. You could put in truth. Nine, oh, are we registered yet? Can Should be. Mine? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If, yeah. if if Truth 99.3 doesn't work, just use Mac McCoy, M-A-C-M-C-K-O-Y. And, and here's what you're going to see. Let's let, let's let uh, the radio listeners listen to this, please. In the heart of every man or woman, there is a canyon, a desolate place, a place maybe no one else knows about. But the echo of the canyon cries out inside your soul. You may try to drown it out for a while with activities and people and pleasure and even things. But the emptiness remains. The hunger keeps gnawing, just below the surface, silent, but still there. That echo, that hunger is the Spirit of God and he finds and calls each of us in the wasteland of our lives. You have been longing for something better, and now you are here at a crossroad. You have tried other roads and they were dead ends. You've been doing this long enough. Now, Jesus Christ asks you to put your trust in him. He said, I came that you might have life in the fullest. You want peace, but have not found it. Now, here you are, and hear that echo it calls again. Come unto me, and I will give you rest, is the promise of the Christ. No one else but Jesus had the qualifications of the Messiah. No one else could accomplish your salvation by giving their lives, except for God's only begotten. The Bible says there is one God and one mediator between God and men, That man is Jesus Christ. You may be the most religious, moral person on earth, but you need the forgiveness only Jesus Christ can give. Do you acknowledge this reality and want him in your life? Right now, at this very moment of your life, the Lord Jesus comes along beside you. He loves you. Gently, yet with indescribable strength, he speaks your name. Here I am. I am knocking at the door of your heart. If you will hear my voice and want me to come in, just open the door and give me your welcome. If you want, I'll be a permanent guest. We'll spend a lifetime together, and when my work for you is done, I'll take you with me to heaven. Would you like that? If so, you can join with me in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you right now needing your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for my sins and rose again. I'm asking you to come into my life, live in my heart. I need you and I trust you to do what I cannot do. Lead me to a new life. Help me follow you as my Savior and Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed this prayer with faith and a sincere heart, four things happened in an instant. First, you were forgiven. If we confess our sins, the Bible says God is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Second, you were justified. Your sins were erased from God's record book. You have a clean slate with God. Third, you were regenerated. If anyone is in Christ, the Bible says he or she is a new creation. You have new life in Christ. And fourth, you were adopted. 
The Bible says, God lavished his grace on you and brought us into his very own family. Welcome, my friend. I hope you have come to experience the peace of God that comes from becoming his child, a citizen of his kingdom. Now, through the credible witness of this website, you too can get to know the God of the Bible for yourself. All right, that's the video that uh, you're invited to watch, uh, again, at no cost. Uh, when you go to answer the number two, so it's answer to mystery.com and you put in that code and that code uh, would be whatever code you'd want it to be. Um, no dots, no slashes, just like mine is Mac McCoy, M-A-C-M-C-K-O-Y. So you put that code in and then you get an email that tells you that somebody who you gave a card to stopped by because so many times, you know, I was in Casey's today. And I, I got my glass of ice water. And the the y- y- young lady behind the counter, we were kind of nudging back and forth, giving each other a bad time. You know, that's my Casey's. That's where I go almost every day. And as I walked out the door, I looked at her and I said, you know, God loves you, don't you? And she just looked at me. She goes, yes, I do know that. Well, what if I had said, you know, God loves you? And she just turned around and walked away, but started thinking about it. Well, with this card... When the next time I see her, I'll hand her my card, and then I'll know that maybe there's a chance she went to that website. 244-0077 if you want to give your input when we come back more about the iOutreachInc.org program. Sky Allison, the founder, is in the house, and uh, we'll talk to you here live on The Truth 99.3. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. I'm Brian Leach, owner of Service Legends, and my position is Chief Talent Officer. I'm Nicholas Wondershide. I am Bernie Hobbs. And I'm the Service Manager. Marketing Director and Client Relations Manager. Everything that we do is about ensuring that we exceed your expectations. Our clients are important to us, 100% satisfaction. We're not just focused on heating and cooling. That's the easiest part of our job, actually, is fixing furnaces and air conditioners. Everyone that we come in touch with, we want to improve lives. Bottom line is, we've got our installation guarantees, 25% energy savings guarantee, comfort guarantee, temperature selection guarantee, property protection guarantee. 100% satisfaction guaranteed, fixed rate is free. All of those guarantees are backed up with a 100% money back guarantee to hold ourselves accountable to making sure that you get what you're after. Just fix them the problem today. If they have another problem five days down the road, it's still a fixed rate or it's free. We use what's called straightforward pricing. Our technicians are gonna give you an exact to the penny price on what it's gonna take before they move forward with any repair. That way you know what to expect. It's the same price every day. No surprises. If you get off work at five o'clock in the afternoon, you come home, you realize that, oh, my furnace is broken. Now you need to call somebody out that night. You shouldn't have to pay more for that. We're guaranteeing service 24-7. We run afternoons, evenings, nights, weekends. We're staffed to work that. Phone rings at 3 in the morning. You'll get one of our representatives answering the phone every time. We're not sending you out to Timbuktu in some call center. It's our service legend team members, our mission control team. I'll take a call anytime. And then they answer the phones same way during the day as they do at night. It's a great day at your service company. How can we make you smile? That's the only way to provide true 24-hour service. When you're able to let somebody actually live in their home safely when they weren't able to do that before, where they don't have to stay up at night and worry about, is the heat going to come back on? Are we going to freeze the pipes? Is the baby in the room next door going to be sick because they got too cold? When you're able to help somebody overcome challenges like that, that's impacting a life. That makes a difference. I get goosebumps thinking about it. I love the team. I love the people that I work with. (laughs) We have fun, but we work hard. I call them my ambassadors of legendary service. If you could just envision what that is, that's who we're sending to your home. They literally will call in, pick up the phone and call and say, hey, I want to talk to your manager. And I get on the phone, they're like, that technician that was at my house was the greatest technician ever. That's cool to me. We want to brighten people's days. Every person that we have going into the house has gone through an extensive background check. Drug testing, we have a very thorough interview process that one out of 140 people make it through. If we promise you something, that's what you're going to get, no matter what. We're here when you need us to protect the safety and comfort of your family. If you're not happy, we're gonna make it right. If we're willing to put 100% money back guarantee on what we do, what type of work do you think we do? 
Give us a call. We're there for you 24-7, 365 days a year. Enough said. If you sit in the back view or the front view, it's your voice we want to hear. The phone lines are open, so call 244-0077. Now, here's J. Michael McCoy. 238, 22 minutes before the top of the hour, and then Salem Radio Network News, uh, day three and counting. Uh, we're going backwards. Uh, tomorrow will be, uh, well, if we're going backwards, that'd make tomorrow day two, right? And then that'd make Friday day one, right? From, I yeah. guess I'm not. Yeah. Is that <laughs> right? Okay, I'm not good on my math. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, then on Monday, uh, you'll hear Dr. Brown, second hour live in this time slot. And uh, Bob oh. and I and Frank and Ryan uh, will be back on from 3 to 5 in the afternoon with the all-new Max World, uh, kind of uh, uh, after uh, what we used to do years ago on other radio stations here in town. Uh, first hour is going to be, uh, well, first of all, it's all going to be very transparent. Uh, no, not like Obama's administration, the real transparent, like Casper the Ghost. And uh, your calls are going to be welcome. We'll talk about the things that are interested to you. Uh, we're going to uh, talk more about local stuff. Everybody's talking national. I mean, every, no, who talks local? The good folks over at 1040 WHO talk local, and they're it. And, and they do, by the way, they do an exceptional job. Um, I don't think by any means we're going to be able to do a better job than they have. But we are going to give you an alternative because here's the difference. If those guys over there say the name of Jesus, say it with me. Just say it out loud. Jesus. Doesn't that feel good? How do you think Jesus feels when he hears you say his name? I love you, Jesus. They can't do that over there. And for the far left wing nuts... That's good, because they don't want to hear that name, because when they hear the name of Jesus, you know what it does? It convicts them. They feel guilty. They feel shame, because they know that they've chosen to reject him every single day, and the more their life lives on, they realize the blasphemy that they live in, and that the eternity they have in front of them is one without their creator, their own personal hell. Over here, you get to na- hear the name of Jesus every day. Oh, I don't think we'll overdo it. No, that's not true. We will overdo it. I hope you don't mind that we overdo it, because I think it's the most beautiful name in the world, Jesus. Or if you're going to say it like uh, Lutzer, Jesus. You ever listen to Lutzer from uh, the Moody Bible College here on the station? He's a great preacher. But that man always says, God and Jesus. I don't care how you say it. You can say, uh, 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 Jesus, for all I care. I am. He is the redeemer. He is the forgiver. He is the salvation for the eternity of time. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to have preachers, teachers, and pastors, just like we always have. But we're also going to talk about what's going on in your water cooler talk. And by the way, I'm going to depend on you to call and tell me what's going on. Uh, you're, You're my eyes and ears out there. I can't be everywhere. I don't want to be everywhere. Only God can be everywhere. But through you, I can be everywhere through the radio. So I hope you'll share it with me. Neat guy is my guest today. His name is Sky Allison. He's the founder of iOutreachInc.org. That is the letter I, Outreach, Inc, I-N-C, dot org. And uh, this is a, an evangelical tool that's available to you for only the cost of the business cards that, that you buy from them. Uh, and they're even, they're even listed out, you know, how, ma- how much you're going to pay. You get 1,000 cards that you're going to pay $0.09 cents a piece. Now, that ten, $0.09 cents a piece, that's like $90. Is that right? Help me there, right. Robert, with the math. Yeah. So 1,000 yeah. <laughs> business cards with your personal code on them. So that when you hand this to someone or you leave it behind, I leave mine with my gratuity. Now, I will tell you, it makes me tip a little better because I, <laughs> yeah. I don't want them to think yeah. I was, Jesus was a cheapskate. Right. But right. I always leave it behind. Now, sometimes I get an opportunity to talk to my server about Jesus. Sometimes it's very uncomfortable and they're in the middle of their job and I, I don't really have a right to do that. Mm-hmm. So right. I'll leave this card. Right. And then two or three days down the line, sometimes two or three hours, ding, ding. I got an incoming email, 
and somebody went to my site and said, I watched the video, uh, answer to mystery.com. And when they see that answer to mystery.com, they are given the answers to the questions that you're looking for. Uh, and what are the questions you're looking for? Who cares about me? Why am I here? What is my purpose? And for heaven's sakes, does anybody really love me? Am I lovable? Because the world tells me I'm not lovable unless I'm skinny, I'm gorgeous, I'm rich, I'm a musician, I'm a superstar, I'm a movie star. That's what the world tells you is lovable. Well, I got to tell you that Jesus loves you just like you are. He made you this way. He created you and made you exactly in his image, exactly as you are. You may not feel good enough, but that's the accuser whispering in your ear, you're not lovable. And God would never say that to you. God would never say anything but I love you. Now, you were telling a story earlier about Morris. Yeah. And when you were, you were this is a true story about you in high school. And yeah. Morris uh, kind of liked to swear. Yeah. He, and troublemaker. And you asked him one day, please don't say that around me anymore. And I, you said, did I tell you that profanity was the first thing God changed about me when I was saved? So what happened to Norris? Morris, you told him not to say this anymore. Yeah, I, I really don't know. That was in high school. And never I didn't followed keep, up? never. No, no, I didn't. Um, you know, I no, went off to college. His last name. You could probably Facebook it. I, yeah, I don't remember his last name. Oh, well. I really don't. That's been a long time back. Yeah, and, uh, and 40 all. years probably. Yeah, yeah, at least that, <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, but uh, but interesting thing is that, is that uh, later on, I think it was that year, uh, because that happened in the fall, not too long after I came to know the Lord. And it seems like in the spring of that year, our our high school had um, what you might call a revival. There are a lot of kids that got yeah. saved. And like I say, I was, uh, I don't know that there's any connection of those two things, but I would take my Bible to school and read it, you know, and study hall and stuff, and um, just to just because I was hungry. I wanted to know more about the Lord. Did you get teased for that back then? Um, you know, as I recall, uh, there wasn't a whole lot, of, whole lot of people that would say too much One to me. One way or the other? Yeah. Like I say, I was kind of an insignificant kid. I wasn't a popular kid and uh, had uh, plenty of issues of my own that, uh, that God needed to you know, take care of. Uh, I wasn't a perfect kid by any means when I found the Lord, when he found me. But Sky Allison is my guest. He is the founder of I, that's the letter I, Outreach Inc, I-N-C dot org. And when you go to that website, you'll find out how you can have cards made, business cards for you, the exact size of a business card on the artwork's beautiful. And on one side it says, are you looking for answers to the deeper questions? And it tells you to go to this website and then put in your code. My code is Mac McCoy, M-A-C-M-C-K-O-Y. Uh, the new code that we've got for the radio station is Truth993. And when you put that code in, you're going to see a video which answers these questions. Who cares about me? Why am I even here? For heaven's sakes, who loves me? Am I lovable? And then, of course, what is my purpose? Which I ask myself so many times in my life. I, uh, uh, you know, it's sky interesting because I think back about those times when I used to ask myself, what is my purpose? I'm so glad I'm not in those dark ages anymore. Those dark Amen. days. Amen. Yes, indeed. You know, I, I'm serious. I didn't really think about it until I was reading your card just now. I used to mm -hmm. sit in my chair with about, uh, 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 a half a liter of gin every night and sitting there disgusted with myself, not thinking I was mm -hmm. lovable not knowing what I was here for, not knowing what my purpose was. Does anybody love me? Who cares? I mean, you nailed these questions because that's in the darkest times when God is not in your life as prominently as he should be. These are the questions the accuser makes us ask ourselves because we don't know the answers if Christ isn't in the middle of it, right? That's right. That's absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to take our last break. When we come back, I'm going to ask Guy to kind of go through the details of this on uh, how you can be a part of this ministry. And uh, uh, I hope you choose to do so. You can do it for just the price of the cards. That's all you got to pay for. And you know what? If you want to do this and you can't afford the cards, I'll buy the cards. 
I'm serious. That's how serious I am on this. I've done it. It works. We'll tell you how it worked for you next. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Credit cards are like grandkids. They love you, sometimes get out of control, and it's fun to get a new one. Who can stop them from piling on? Hi, I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of Des Moines. At the end of the day, you can return the grandkids, but you're stuck paying off bad credit card debt. We'll help you put the fun back into using credit cards responsibly. Right, kids? Yeah! If you need help getting credit cards off your back, call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Hi, I'm J. Michael McCoy, and about 20 years ago, I went to a used car salesman by the name of John Hewitt. He had a little shop over there on North 2nd Avenue called John's Auto Sales, and I bought a car. I found that experience to be one that I had never had before from a used car salesman. He was honest, he was dependable, he had integrity, and he did what he said he was going to do. Well, over the years, between my kids and grandkids, I purchased seven vehicles from John's Auto Sales. And last month, I asked him to be a sponsor. I can tell you about their huge selection. I can tell you about their years of experience. I can tell you about their honest integrity. But all I really need to tell you is that I bought seven cars, and you can trust them. John's Auto Sales, 5435 2nd Avenue, Des Moines. You need a good ride when you hit the trail. Trust the man with the cars, and he goes by the name of Big John. Big John, Big John. State Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. If you sit in the back view or the front view, it's your voice we want to hear. The phone lines are open, so call 244-0077. Now, here's J. Michael McCoy. All right, 10 minutes for the top of the hour. Uh, Salem Radio Network News at 3 o'clock. Steve Noble filling in for three more days. And then uh, this show, Max World Live, uh, or The View from Pew, whatever. We're just changing the branding. We're still going to have preachers, teachers, pastors. Uh, We're still going to have the same crew of guys. Bob's going to be here. Frank's going to be here. I'm sorry about Frank. Frank does a good job. You you got to admit, Frank Frank has really done an excellent job. Yeah, he really has. I agree. Yeah, and uh, Ryan and everybody, uh, and there will be some new cast of characters, but that cast of characters might include you. You know, I'm kind of infamous for taking just regular people who are passionate about what I am passionate about. And putting them on the radio. Were you a, were you a trained broadcaster for fifty years? Is that how I found you? No. Like on the internet, Bob Montserrat, forty years experience. Wanna no? No, not at all. You just asked me a, a spiritual question, which I don't remember what it was, and I guess I must have answered it right. Yeah, no, you did. Probably what you're <laughs> passionate about. And that's so. the deal with Frank. Frank was a Frank was a caller. He used yeah. to call into the show. Right. And I thought one day I just want to meet the guy. I want him in my. I want him in studio. And he has he has learned the skills that it takes to do this and do it right. He's done yeah. a very good job. So in this new format, you're telling me now that I have to stop watching me TV and start watching the news? Uh, yes. Oh, it boy. would be helpful if you'd read the paper in the morning <laughs> and, and watch what's going on in the community. We're going to start talking about what's... Nobody calls anybody in this community out anymore. Everybody yeah. just is all weenied and wussified out. Yeah. They're national. They don't... I saw in the paper today that the Polk County... Uh, Polk County Board of Supervisors is trying to raise money so they can end poverty in Polk County. Now, what a nice thought, right? We can end, there will be no hungry children in Polk County. But that's not what I elected my supervisors to do. Right, and then didn't the Bible say that always be poor amongst us? And, I, sure. and I, so anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get my dander back up. All right, um... Tell me a little bit how people can get these cards. Yeah, they can. Uh, hey, we've got a right now we're holding a registration drive. And so everybody who registers can get 30 free cards to use and try out the system. Just go online to I 
outreachinc.org. Click where it says registration is free. Fill it out, and we'll get the cards out to you in about two weeks. Yeah, and well, or you know what? Uh, I'll give them some of the Truth 99.3 cards. So you don't even have to spend any money on any new cards. They'll have the Truth 99.3. Uh, but what way? How will they know the? How will they then know when somebody signs up? We won't know that, will we? How will we know that? Only you would. I'll know it. You will. So if yeah. if, if you say to me, "Hey, I'm putting cards out there," I'll just put you on an uh, on a uh, mass email and say, "Hey, one of you must have put a card out there." And yep. can't the person that's coming on the site actually leave their name also if they yes. choose to? Yeah, they, they, uh, it's required that they leave a name and their email address. That's the only required thing. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's so if, if you know you put works. out a card over there at uh, uh, Burger King and uh, somebody from Burger King turned it in, we'll know. All right. And they'd get a free gift. The guy that uh, is the Burger King guy that looked to that website, they'll actually get a, a free gift. What is the gift? The gift is what on earth am I here for? Uh, for the uh, classic presentation, we have two presentations. Uh, the one that you have is the classic presentation, so okay. that's that's what they would get. That's the one we, we have play. a youth presentation also, and we're working on a third presentation uh, that is uh, very close to being done. That is outreach designed for Muslims. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. So the wow. Hold on, Bob. Hold on. Wow. So you're telling me you're going to try to evangelize Muslims? Yeah. Aren't you worried about your life and your safety? Um, I don't know. Haven't faced it yet, but uh, but okay. uh, you know, Robert. I guess the question was: Would it be the booklet in uh, hardcover, or I mean, you say it paperback, or is it going to be a PDF? It's a PDF online. Yeah, it'll come directly to your device. Okay, and I was wondering too. Uh, I think one of the biggest fears people have in uh, passing out tracks when I was a kid. Sure. We used to do that, but our biggest fear was that we were afraid somebody might ask us a question and not know the answer. And so with this, uh, it seems like you don't really have to be an apologist knowing everything about the Bible. You're that, exactly right, is that Bob. correct? Yeah. So really, all you do is you can just leave these or hand it out, with, and you, you're not responsible for saying anything, basically. That's really true. Yeah. That's why even the most timid people can use this method. Yeah. Um, you know, I was standing at the, at the, at the mall one day and had one of the cards and, uh, my wife goes down the corner of the restroom and, and I had one of these cards with me and I'm standing at the corner. And so, uh, it's easy to pass them out. You know, you could ask somebody the question, have you ever asked yourself who cares? And, um, you know, people say, yeah, check it out. But on this occasion, I just said, did you get one of these? And the guy that was headed down that same corridor to go to the restroom, uh, took my card. They're so non-threatening and yeah. so easy, you know. It's like a credit card size, so you can just stick it in your wallet when yeah. you have those Business empty cards. slots. Sure. When sure. I uh, when I pay for things at stores, many times there's a little shelf or whatever in front of the cash register, and yeah. they're they're big enough to hold. And mm -hmm. I'll leave three or four of these, mm -hmm. and sure enough, Terrific. name will come up. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is an evangelistic tool. Um, and I like what Sky said. You know, we get this idea that if we're going to be evangelistic, that we've got to be loud and we've got to stand on a soapbox in the middle of the farmer's market and we have to, we have to be out there all the way. So Sky and his group created these cards. So all you have to do is just hand the card out. Leave the card behind. You don't even have to, you don't even have to hand it out. Leave it behind. Leave it in the restroom. Leave it next to the towel dispenser. You know, and by the way, you might want to leave it at church because maybe just somebody, somebody searching who's coming to, to God for the first time right. and saying, who are yeah. you about? And they go to the sermon. Maybe the sermon gets them. Maybe it doesn't. And then they pick up one of these cards and they go home and they, they get some of their questions answered. What are the questions again? Who cares? Who cares? Why am I here? Who loves me? Am I lovable? Who loves me? And what is my purpose in life? You've asked yourself those same questions. Now, Sky Allison and his group at iOutreachInc.org have given you a free tool to use these for yourself. There's no catch. Okay, there's no, you find a catch, you let me know, okay? Because there's no catch. All right, Sky, thanks for being here. 
Thank Appreciate you. you, man. Thanks for having us. Yep, we're going to start talking about this on the radio, and uh, we have cards here at the radio station that have Truth 99, three on them. If you'd like some, Bob's got his own box now. Uh, Gizmo's got his own box. Ryan's got his own box. I'll get I'll get Keith or uh, uh, Chris one, and then we can all start to evangelize and spread the everlasting love of Jesus Christ to all men and women and children. And, of course, make disciples of all men, because that's what he asked us to do. Okay, till I see you again tomorrow, would you promise to forgive somebody tonight? Maybe it's just somebody driving home that flips you off or something. Just forgive them, because, you know, as you forgive, you'll be forgiven. I'll see you at church. <laughs>